Welcome to the last video in our WordPress series. I'm Mick and I've been walking you through how to make this exact website click by click and we're only a couple of steps away from finishing. One of the last things we need to do is upload a document to the website. This can come in handy. You might want to upload your resume or a menu or a pricing sheet which is what we're going to do for this photography site. And to do it, we'll need a plugin. Let's go to the plugin section of the dashboard and click Add New. The plugin we want is the Google Doc Embedder. So we'll search for that, install it, and turn it on. Great. When the Doc Embedder plugin is installed, the next step is to upload the document to the site. We'll click Media, and then Add New. I have a pricing sheet already made up, so we'll click the Select Files button and grab the file. If we click Edit here, we can add a caption and a file description. But the important part right now is the file URL. We need to copy this address. Now, let's add another page to our site where we can display the pricing sheet. Using the Pages tool, click Add New. We'll call it Pricing. Right here in our toolbar, another tool has popped up now that we've activated our Google Doc Embedder plugin. After clicking on it, the first thing it asks for is the URL of the file we want to embed. We copied that a few seconds ago, so we'll just paste it in. Perfect. There's the PDF. Now we just click Insert, and there's our code. I do want to turn off comments like we've done in the past. This time I'm going to show you one other way you can turn off comments from right here in the page editor. Just come up to this button in the top right that says Screen Options. Then select the box that says Discussion. Now when you scroll down underneath your text editor box, you'll see the Discussion box. And both our comments and trackbacks are checked. We're going to uncheck comments for this page. Now we're ready to click Publish and see what our page looks like. Great. Our menu now has a pricing page, and if we click on it, there's our document. There's even a download link underneath, so if anyone wants to download the PDF, they can. Now the final thing we need to do is rearrange the order of the pages. They're not exactly how we want them. So to do that, I'll go back to the Pages section and click All Pages to see everything. We've used the quick edit tool in previous videos and it comes in handy here too. I think the first two pages are good, but I think my gallery should be the third page on my menu. So I'm going to click quick edit on that page and specify what order we want it to be. Okay, now I want my blog to be the next page in my menu. So I'll click quick edit, type in four, then click update. I'll do the same for my contact page and pricing page, making them numbers 5 and 6. Now, let's go back to the actual website and see if the new order is there. Hit refresh, and yep, there it is. Everything is just where I want it. And with that, our website is complete and we've wrapped up our walkthrough series. We've only scratched the surface of what you can do with WordPress. At the end of the day, the best way to take full advantage of the platform is just to spend some time playing with it. Still, we hope these videos helped you get started. Thanks for tuning in.